Chuck Fidroff again with Take 5. This is the ministry that takes no more than five verses and no more than five minutes and explains them to you. Uh, Father God, we just ask that this would be supernatural today, that the power of the Holy Spirit would make this thing go, all, go viral over the Internet and many people would learn what this message is all about. We're going to go in Chapter 8 of Matthew today. 1 through 4 is our verses, and it says, When he came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately he was cured of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Just let it go. It'll be a while. Don't turn it off yet. <laughs> so explaining this, what is this? It says he came down from the mountainside. So what was he doing up on the mountainside? Probably praying. That's what Jesus did. And then a man with leprosy came up to him and said, Lord, if you are willing. How many of us need healing out there? How many of us have illnesses and, and sicknesses and diseases or addictions? And all we have to do is cry out, Lord, if you are willing, could you heal me? And he is willing. He came that, to set the captives free. It says, by his stripes we are healed, or we were healed. It's already done. So he came to put mankind back in order again, to be reconciled with the Most High God. Lord, if you are willing, make me clean. And I pray that same thing for everyone. Lord, if you are willing, make us clean. You said, if my, we could study this the other day, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven and you will heal their land. Lord, we need a healing. Jesus reached out and said, I am willing, be clean. Then he says, don't tell anybody. His time hadn't came yet. He didn't want everybody running after him. But could you imagine if you were healed from leprosy? Let's say you had cancer all over your body in today's standards and it just fell off instantly because Jesus said a word. What would you do then? You'd be pretty excited. I don't think you could contain it. But Jesus didn't want him telling everybody except for the chief priests because they were having a hard time understanding that Jesus was the Messiah. So he said, go give your gift. Let them know that, that you have been healed. Show them your skin. Show them everything that's going on and then offer the gift or offer your offering, as it says in Leviticus, for, for us to do, that those chief priests might believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Do you believe in Jesus as the Messiah? Have you given him lordship of your life? I pray that you would. Father God, we thank you for this time together to worship you with Take 5. This is Chuck Fidroff, the Executive Director of the Good Samaritan Mission. I pray that people would know and understand the Word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>